not far from the shores of the great continent, in the shimmering sea of tea, there stands a lone isle in the warm sun called Oolong Island. To the north are the majestic cliffs of clover, the lush green tea forest, the gentle rolling hills of tea biscuits pasture, and watercress falls with its mysterious caverns. To the east is spinning windmill and lighthouse pot. Flow through river winds gently past tea cozy corners where the tots houses, one after the other, possess their own individual character and charm. In the center, is Tea Time Square, and across from it is Lookout Cup and the well-guarded Teapot Towers. For many years, Oolong Island has remained relatively undisturbed. This period of peace and happiness has allowed the Teapot Tots to grow, and that they have, all wonderfully different and special. How perfectly splendid had been their years on Oolong Island, yet Never for one moment did the Teapot Tots suspect that they would soon face their most formidable threat. And who was behind this danger to come? Why, none other than the one person who had long ago sworn vengeance on them all. The evil Teabag Hag. In the days when the legendary imperial crown and jewel, called Tiara, were discovered, the High Tea Council most wisely decided to secret away from the continent these magical objects of tremendous power and hide them upon the then uninhabited Oolong Island. They selected a group of tots from their varying nations and placed them on the island as the crown and jewel's future guardians. The council knew that the temptation of using the crown and jewel for personal ambitions was far too great for anyone on the continent at that time. For if the jewel were placed directly into the crown, their combined energy would give to its wearer absolute power. The High Tea Council had hoped that the innocence inherently found in children if properly nurtured, would protect the tots from the seductive powers of the magical crown and jewel until such a time as they were old enough to use these powers for the common good and well-being of all. Chosen for the task as guardians of the tots and protectors of the crown and jewel until the teapot tots came of age were Colonel Kettleby, Lady Petunia and the lovely Valeria. Valerian's unparalleled beauty and grace brought her profound admiration and respect. As the guardians set sail with their precious cargo to live in the village that had been prepared for them on Oolong Island, how were these venerable statesmen and women to know that their carefully devised plan would soon be doomed to failure? For not long after their arrival, Valerian driven by increasingly uncontrollable yearnings for eternal beauty and power, stole up the teapot tower stairs in the dead of night. Ever so slowly, she slid the crown off its protective pedestal and placed it on her head. Greed and ambition pulsated wildly through her, urging her on to the second tower containing the jewel. But for a fleeting moment, she forgot about the jewel's own defenses. Help, cried Tiara the jewel, help me. Before Valerian realized her costly mistake, Colonel Kettleby and Lady Petunia stood steadfastly before her, barring her way to supreme power. With the crown still in her possession, Valerian fled down the tower stairs. Kettleby and Petunia quickly gave chase. Valerian hurried to the shore. As she leaped into a boat, she caught sight of her reflection in the water. My beauty, it has vanished. The evil within her had caused her to change from the lovely Valerian into the ugly teabag hag. A curse upon you both, 
She cried as she hurled her first spell upon Kettleby and Petunia. And with these evil words, both Colonel Kettleby and Lady Petunia began to transform. But the magic of the crown without its jewel gave the teabag hag only half the power to cast her spell. As she sailed away across the channel, the teabag hag swore that she would one day return for the jewel and cause those responsible for her downfall to suffer. And so, from Teacup Castle, her impregnable fortress deep within the forbidding black tea forest, the teabag hag, aided by her henchmen, the lumps, and her two young accomplices, the tempestuous tempest, and the evil genius Moriarty plots her revenge. Thus begins the exciting adventures of the Teapot Tots. <laughs>